Hello, and this is a GCSE explainer on coastal deposition and the landforms that it creates. So uh, just a little reminder, de deposition takes place where the flow of seawater slows down and sediment can't be carried anymore, so it's deposited or, or dropped, and that commonly happens in, in bays. And you can see here, there's a wonderful, wonderful image of the, of the beach here. And um, you can see lots of material that's being dropped on the, on the beach, some that's, that's not so good like plastics here, but most of it's seaweed. You can see ridges in the beach here as well, which are created by um, by wind, and we've got the gradient of the beach as well. And then a lot of beaches are fixed behind by sand dunes, so there'll be more on that on a different on a different video. So a beach is basically an accumulation of sand uh, and shingle. It could be a pebble beach, and it's found anywhere where deposition occurs. Sandy beaches are tend to be found in sheltered bays caused when waves lose energy, when spreading out into the bay caused by wave refraction. Pebble beaches form where wave cliffs are being eroded and the waves are higher energy. And you can see a lovely beach here, uh, Manowar Cove in St. Oswald's Bay in Dorset. And you can see Durdle Door in the background there. If you watch another video of mine, um, that's a natural rock arch, okay, just behind there. So uh, we've had a look at that photograph already, but you can see a really wide expanse of beach. Uh, beaches are not uniform features and they change on a day to day basis. Uh, so in terms of how they're created, deposition is the main process that creates a beach. It often occurs where the waves have limited energy and so beaches often form in sheltered areas like bays where wave energy is less than on exposed headlands. In those bays, waves tend to be constructive where the swash is dominant and the backwash is weaker so that more material, either pebbles or sand, is left behind rather than being taken away. And over time, that beach material will accumulate in the sheltered bay. Um, it could be composed, like I said, of different sediments. And the last stage really is to consider that beaches are under constant change uh, from processes like longshore drift. So beaches can grow over time when constructive waves dominate or even shrink in size due to, during winter periods, uh, particularly in the UK, where we get more destructive storm waves. In terms of spits, uh, you can see one here in, in the Vendée in France, which I, which I took out of a, a plain window. Uh, so a spit's a long, a huge, long feature, very narrow. Uh, you might get salt marshes behind, like you've got here, and they form across river mouths where sediment's been moved along a coastline in this process here called longshore drift, which I'll explain in a moment. And they often have a recurved end where sediment is pushed inland by the, by the waves. Spurn Head on the Holderness Coast is a classic example in the UK, and you can see there it's very similar to the previous example. Sediment moving this way along the spit, creating sandbars. We've got deposition of mud flats on the inside. Uh, there's a small settlement here, uh, and you can see that, that this it's a very narrow feature that will be very vulnerable to winter storms and what's called breaching, which is where the spit would be would be broken. So in terms of their formation. Uh, prevailing wind would push the waves at an angle towards the shore and don't forget the it is the wind that blows over the the ocean surface that sets up waves in that, their direction and that would pick up sediment um, and swash it up the beach at an angle and then it would backwash back down the beach at, at a rightish angle to the to the angle of the beach as backwash and that process will continue right along the beach and that zigzag motion is uh, known as longshore drift and that moves sediment along the beach like this okay so that process is ongoing and that moves sediment along the beach and wherever a river enters the sea uh, that might slow down the waves and it causes deposition of sediment to occur and that sediment builds up slowly across the river mouth to build a, a spit. So that's the spit bit there, just the, the recurved bit. It has a recurved end because the waves will continue washing in and push the sediment in towards the land. And then behind the spit, a salt marsh can be created. Okay. If the spit were to extend right the way across the, um, the river mouth, um, if let's say the river flows very, very slow, not very powerful, uh, that would be what we call a bar. Okay, so a bar is where uh, river sediment 
uh, stretches from one one coastline across to the, the, another coastline, completely blocking it off, and we get a lagoon forming behind. Okay, so in terms of the tasks, you could have a look at the uh, this web page here. Uh, try and describe why sediment gets deposited. Describe the the features of the beach on here. Why do we get different types of beach? And then can you produce a flow chart on why we get uh, beaches? And then can you turn my diagram into a flow chart as well? Why do we get uh, longshore drift creating a a spit? Okay, uh, so just to finish up with a little joke um, what did the beach say as the tide came in long time no see <laughs>